Hi everybody, Josh from Flex Trades here. We are at Fabtech 2023 in Chicago, Illinois. I am very excited to be joined by Chloe Hudson, arc welding angel. So find her on all of your socials at that handle. And Chloe, first of all, thank you for the time. Absolutely. What are you most excited to see here at Fabtech? So I always like coming to Fabtech. I like seeing the new automations that are coming out, kind of how I can compete as a welder that still welds by hand. Uh, I love the innovation that comes with a lot of these companies. There's things that I have worked with in the past that were very rudimentary, mm -hmm. and you can kind of see the progression of those things getting better and better. Right. Even with the pipe roller back there, you know, that's the first time I ever learned how to actually like uh, dab, if you will. Yes. I was definitely more of a uh, walking the cup type of a welder. And until those rollers came into play for us, whenever I did uh, dry cast storage containers for spit nuclear fuel, uh, we jumped on those and boy, you had to keep up. So that yeah. was something that kind of really turned me on to the more Instagram style of welding, of like actually dabbing and having that beautiful bead pattern and profile. So I always love coming here. I love seeing everyone. You know, everyone has Instagram, internet friends, and you see them in person and I always get the, you're so tall, call yes. So it's always fun, super fun to see people in person, super fun to see industry people just to hang out. Well, and you know, the talking about the new tech and some of the yeah. new tools, a lot of the, reason for the skills gap is because we emphasize in this industry how physical it is. We don't right. emphasize how we're always making that more accessible. Right. For that person that's out there, boy or girl, old or young, maybe they're looking to make a decision on their first career, maybe right. they're looking for a career change. Why would they think about welding in your opinion that, that they haven't thought of yet? What's something that, that is low key a good reason to get into welding? So welding is such a umbrella term. There is so many things that are encompassed under that umbrella, whether it's sales, whether it's, you know, product production, whether you're coming up with a new innovation. You know, I was really interested in medicine and wanted to go the biomedical engineering route and, and build, you know, titanium implants and, and that kind of thing. So it really touches every single person's life in a way that I don't think that they really recognize. It's not celebrated the way like a nurse is, but you know, you see a nurse when you're sick, you use a road every day. And, and that, that requires a DOT welder. It requires, you know, concrete guys, engineers. It requires so many people that touch trades. And I don't think that's emphasized enough. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, I think when people think welder too, and I've had this job, I've had the job of putting the Tyvek suit on, you know, getting in the hole, welding on, you know, a, a, a oil and grease soaked threaded piece of rod to pull it out. And I've also, had the job that I have now, which is the most pristine titanium aero aerospace. Like I could lick my work surface yes. and not worry about it. So it's just, it's all about where you want to be. You know, if you want to be outside, if you, if you want your office to change every single day, okay, mm -hmm. well then do structural welding. You know, yes. those project sites change every day, you know, fix heavy equipment. Heavy equipment requires welding. And that means that you get to go to some of the most remote, some of the most beautiful places yep. uh, to, just to fix that piece of equipment. And if you want to be more precision, if you want to work in motorsports like I do, if you want to work in aerospace like I do, that's very, very precise. I get better the more that I do it. It's addictive, <laughs> like you, it's, it's art. Like it's literally yes. metal art in a sense that's very functional. Yep. Like it's not in the eye of the beholder. Like, you can't deny the fact that the work that I put out is passable. It's up to code, it's up to standard. Everyone who walks by my bench knows that that is my weld yes. because of the signature I have with it. So that's something that I think should be a lot more glorified. It's not just a dirty face. Yes. Like it's, yes. it's fun, it's exciting. Like, you know, I, I'm working on a project right now. It's a humanitarian effort that's gonna put Zeppelins back in the sky. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, so doing, so doing these hub units that are titanium, that have carbon fiber tubes that go into it to build that exoskeleton frame of a of an airship. It's incredible. And I get to be a part of that landmark project. And you know what? People would see that landmark project and not think, oh, welder. The but it's a massive part of it. Exactly. exactly. The, yeah. This is why I love you answering it that way, because I think a lot of times we're almost a uh, horse before the cart, right. or a cart before the horse kind right. of mentality where we find the job and then we think about what we're going to do about it. Right. Exactly. If you're listening to this today, if you're thinking about this is what I love, find the job that's in that, right? right? Absolutely. Like you love aerospace, you love medical, you love right. NASCAR or right. IndyCar, find that industry and then start digging in the jobs because there's a home for everybody there. Absolutely. And it's all manufacturing too, right? Like we right. push a lot working with your hands, 
doing right. really physical, tangible, technical things. Right. But it needs marketers. It needs content creators. Absolutely. There's a home for all of us in you know, this industry. You know, QC, you know, I'm, I'm a welder every day, but I still worked with American Welding Society. I got my CWI. So I can inspect, I can QC one, I can inspect pieces as they come in before that they're welded, as they're welded, after they're welded. So I have gotten to use my education to be able to be a part of every part of the process. You know, like I know how to draw a blueprint. I know how to speak in terminology that doesn't matter what room you put me in. So that's another thing about the applied science of welding, that it is an applied science. Mm -hmm. So you do get to have something that you built at the end of the day, but it's not just relegated to just, you know, a rough nut guy that just wants to <laughs> curse and throw, <laughs> throw stuff. Yes. Right? That's part of it too. And like, and that's something too, like a lot of people think that I just ended up here. You know, I didn't start my Instagram until it was a little bit more glamorous, yeah. but I have been in every kind of situation you can think of. I have worked in the nuclear industry, uh, energy power generation, steam fitting. I've done pipe welding. I have done structural. I have done turbine unit shutdowns and refurbishments. I have worked in aerospace and now motorsports. Mm -hmm. So that is a 12 year career. And each and every single one of those things was a stepping stone to get me to what I consider my dream job now. Yes. And if I didn't change anything for 10 years, Great. <laughs> like I am in that position where I'm like, I'm good. I'm great. I'm still hungry for being the best welder I can be. But a lot of that comes from consistency. A lot of that is just dedication to a craft. And that's what a lot of kids have to understand. You have to dedicate it. You're not going to get the, and be the best in six months. I still fail parts out. Mm -hmm. I still blow through parts. And I have been here 12 years doing it. You know, I'm sponsored by TMS Titanium. Like, you can't be afraid to fail. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. I know the Titanium guys and I still have to call them and be like, hey man, this $3,600 part, guess who just blew through it? But that's, <laughs> that is so much a part of, a robot can't do my job. A robot will never be able to do my job. It's, it's fixtured, it's out of position, it's really, really fine, intricate work, and that's the beauty of, everyone thinks automation is the, the way of the future, but someone still has to do what a robot can't. It's just another new tool. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. much so. Well, Chloe, I appreciate the time very Absolutely. much. Thank you. And if people on our network want to find you, what's the best channel, your Instagram? Yes, so Arc Welding Angels, my Instagram, and you can find me there. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks everyone, see you next time.